Yeah, there's something I'm actually kind of working on uh, to kind of explain what's, what's happening, why it's not rapidly weakening, why it is still a Category 4 storm. And it's actually something that's called the uh, brown ocean effect. It, what that means is, and I've seen a couple of tweets from uh, the folks at the national level that, you know, when we talk about these storms, you need to uh, trust more of the, the local guys because something that they've said, uh, incredible, it made landfall, but it's not weakening at, uh, rapidly. Well, that's because landfall in South Louisiana is a very loose term, as we all know, but it's funny, folks at the national level, I don't think really understand that. Where it made landfall and where it has continued to move inland is still very much more open marsh. It is still able to gain energy from that warm marsh water. It really is not soil. It is the warm waters in the marshland, but also the fact that there are some instances where storms make landfall in an area that is really saturated just solid land, but a very saturated area. Uh, the storm is still able to actually draw that moisture and allow for a strengthening to occur or not strengthening as we've seen here, but almost a, 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 a steady uh, strength to maintain uh, to continue to be maintained. So I'm going to I was working on a graphic and uh, got sidetracked with a few other things here. We've got a lot going on with this, but unfortunately, this is the four o'clock advisory. And unfortunately, though, the winds have come down again at 130. Uh, pressure has been really slow to rise, and we have seen that the, store has, uh, the storm has slowed down uh, again. It's now down to 10 miles per hour. So that just increases the duration of the core of those strong winds. If you were with us the last hour, I was showing you on the velocities where the core of the strong winds all around the outer and inner eye wall, you've got kind of a pocket of that around the northwestern side as well as the southeastern side. We have found kind of the core of those strong winds and you kind of watch the track here. It almost looks like it's, I'm just saying, it does almost look like it has moved a little bit more once it's gotten inland, almost more north. Now, the Hurricane Center is saying northwest at 10, but certainly as we kind of watch the satellite and radar composite, it looks like more of a north trend, which again, if that is the case, it could put a little bit more of the stronger winds into Orleans and or the metro area. Uh, we are going to avoid the way it looks right now, unless this were to take a more dramatic turn. The city in the metro area will avoid the core of these stronger winds. It looks like that is going to stay more to the west. Not that we wish that upon anyone, but it does look like the city would likely avoid that. However, as those winds maintain themselves or depending upon how much they do, that would likely continue up towards the Baton Rouge area. But as I also said, this may be kind of one of those little wobbles. It may be jogging to the north and then it jogs to the west. And we'll just kind of see how that goes as we continue through the next few hours. Again, I'm going to kind of tighten in on our radar site to show you uh, precisely what is going on with the storm, because really at this point, uh, you know, we're done with computer models. Uh, we're done with all of the uh, projections of the storm. Now it is uh, the more observations that we're finding with the storm. And as I said, you've got the strongest of the winds. It also looks like it is still fairly healthy in terms of that outer eye wall and the inner eye wall. We would like to see that start to collapse. In fact, let me jump over to our satellite loop here. Uh, that I've colorized and it kind of gives you a better idea of where the more intense thunderstorms are and you know they they still continue around the center so yes as we've said it is not yet uh, collapsed but also with that said, this is not exactly solid ground in western Lafouche and eastern Terrebonne Parish. This is still basically open water, so that's why we have not seen it rapidly weakening. Now, as you do get more of the storm and more of the eye wall, uh, on land and it starts picking up that friction. There's a lack of friction obviously over the water and once it starts to interact with land that will start start to help the disruption of that circulation and we'll start to see the weakening process begin. It's just at the moment has been a very slow go, which is why we are still now beginning in the city, starting to see some of the strongest winds that we are anticipating. And boy, I tell you what, it's just an ominous look when you see New Orleans, South Louisiana, and you see that eye that is coming so, so close to the metro area and the fact that you have an eye moving over uh, parts of our, our area that is just devastating. And, and to, to, to see what is gonna be left 
down along the coastline is going to be very sobering and really to see what this swath of damage will look like as it continues along that track up toward almost more of a north northwesterly direction at this point it looks like it's not as much northwest as it is now more north northwest and as that the winds are really picking up here. As we said, about four o'clock, we would likely start to see the winds really increasing here in the city, and that will continue over the next few hours. Let's